Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll be opening and assembling the Lego set 40318, the MS, MSC Cruise Cruises. It's, it's one of their cruise ships, only available, only available on their cruise ships. So quite an exclusive set. But before we go any further, I would like to thank CJ Jelly Droid for your um, kind comments about my t-shirt. Um, by Biometric Gamer, thank you very much for your comments. And Jose Bricks, thank you very much for subscribing. If you'd like a comment, uh, if you'd like a shout out on shout out on my channel, all you have to do is, is leave a kind or constructive comment on one on one of my videos, and you will get the shout out. But we'll get on with this. We'll get on with this build now. This is an exclusive set for the um, for the cruise company, so you, you could like as a support, you can only buy it on the boat. So we will open it up. By the way, this is the front of the box and this is the back of the box. It has 181 pieces, this set. Probably shouldn't really be opening it, but uh, as, a, um, as a Lego fan, it would be very rude not to. It's not the, it won't be the biggest set you'll ever have. It's like, um, I don't know what we're going to miss. I'll put that over there. You have one thing I did notice when I, when I was looking at this set. I did notice they are they really it's really heavy on the stickers to make it look like a cruise ship. They haven't printed any bricks. But bear in mind the cost of it on the boats. Um, you can't really complain. You've got it's all in plastic bags still, which is really, which is good. And you have a nice little instruction manual like so. So, if you ever, if you ever in a position where you don't really fancy going on a cruise ship, or or, or, or you actually, or you actually love cruise it, or you, or you love cruising, then this is the perfect set. This, this could be the perfect set for you. So I'll open all three bags here. There's been lots of like um, filler bricks in this set, so. Open up the next bag. Lots of small fiddly bits as well. Not really looking forward to putting the stickers on, but. Open up the third bag. Put the scissors safely out of the way. So we start off with a four by six um, triangular upside down, upside upside down plates. One of these. And then we have a grey six by two, grey six by two plate goes on there. Then we have a white eight eight by four plate, which goes on like that. Now I've got to have to be a bit careful on this because I'm if we could check try and check the colours as I go. It looks like we've got a a desert green or a desert yellow two by two by two two by two plate with this stud in the middle. A dark blue or we'll call this purple, a purple two by two by three plate and a, a white three by two plate. These go on like so. Now we have a red two by two brick, 
which goes on like so. I'll go on there. Have a purple three by two plate and a white four by one plate, which goes on there like so. Now you have two white should have two white 10 by one bricks. And these go on the side like so. Then you have another eight, eight by four uh, white plate. Goes on like that. Then you have two yellow six by two bricks, which go on there like that. So this is gonna uh, make the base of the ship. Then you have a white four by one brick, which goes on the back there like so. Now you have two white eight by one bricks. They go on like that. Next we have two white, uh, find the other one before I describe the brick. So it's two white two by two base plates with a two by one base plate molded onto the top with studs on the side. So we've got two of those and we, these go together and you have a white four by one base plate, which holds those two together like so. You have two white double cheese pieces, and a purple two by one brick. goes on there like that. You see you've got double cheese pieces on there. And this bit goes on the back here like so. Next you have four white Four white one bricks with a um, with a stud on the side, and two of these go in the middle with these studs facing on the back, and the other two go on the sides with the studs facing to the sides, like so. Got two of these uh, purple flat square flat square pieces go on the side there. Flat plates. Now we've got eight of these orange round flat piece round flat pieces. And these alt these go on the base here. They go on like so.
make sure you have four white two by one plates with a stud in the middle. And a white four by four by two base plate. Uh, I think I may have done this wrong. Yes, I have. This is how don't read the instructions properly. I did miss out a blue. Do feel free to fast forward through pop forward fast forward through this bit if you need to. Always read the instructions carefully, so otherwise that way you don't have to do a rebuild like I'm doing now. Fortunately I have the nails for it at the moment, so I have a dark blue or purple four by one base plate, so that goes on there like that. Next we have a purple four, four by two base plate. We have two orange two by one plates with a stud in the middle. Two white two by one plates with a stud in the middle. Two orange round flat studs. Then two orange two by one plates with a stud in the middle. Then another two white two by one plates with a stud in the middle. And they go on like that. Next we have a green two by one base plate two orange flat round, flat round studs, a white four by two base plate, and a white four, four by two roofing piece. That goes on, that goes on there like that. That is the bottom of the ship. Next, we make a, a little bit at the back, so I think that's, be, that's going, to be, they're going to be at the, probably be a balcony from my experience. Uh, so, we have a purple 4x1 base plate and four purple cheese pieces, which are these ones here. So, all these go on here, like so. That goes on the back there, like so. Now we've got our first, uh, we've got our first ticket coming on in a minute. So, but before that, we have two white three by three by two bricks. This set does have a lot of like normal bricks in it, which is quite nice. Now we have two white two white four by one bricks. 
and we put sticker number five on there. These are like cabin windows or balconies. I've got to see if they are balconies. Yeah, look, they're balconies. We had a balcony room on the on the boat and it was nice. Got some nice views. I'll put these on straight as you can. Uh, so you've got the windows, of, well, we've got the back, we've got the cabins there. They go on like that. Now you have two white four by two bricks. A purple four by one brick and two and two three by one bricks which are these ones here. And on here we put sticker number six. This is a very sticker heavy set. So if it's not, the stickers aren't your thing, or you, have to, you, know, you might either ask someone else to do it or don't build the set. That's your real. That's that's your your options. You're limited to. You're limited to, unfortunately. But I find it quite therapeutic. So as you can see, you've got the cabin doors there. And these go on the bit on there like that. Next you have two white three by three by two base plates, which go near the front. You have a three by four triangular base plate, which goes on the top there, and then you have a a clear round blue blue stud flat stud, which goes on the front there like so. It's definitely starting to look more like a cruise ship now. Now we've got a white two by two by four roofing piece. A white two by one, oh no, white two by four brick, my apologies. And a white three by two brick with stickers at number 18 on it. Going on the sides, so more cabins. So they go on there like that, as you can see, it's definitely starting to look more like a cruise ship. Next you have two white three by two base plates. Four white two by one plates with a stud in the middle. A 
and then two white four by two base plates. Obviously don't push it too hard otherwise it moves like I, like I just did. So As you can see those go on there like that. It should just about, it's not a good light on this video, I do apologise. Next you have a purple 4x1 base plate following the purple line up the ship. Have four more of the white 2x1 plates, which are these with a hole in, hole in the middle, with a stud in the middle, I should say. And you have a white 3x1 three, three plate, which goes in the middle. And then we have stickers 11 and 12, which go on the sides here. You'll see in a minute when I, when I just about to put them on, so. They can only go on one way, so. Stickers number 11 on, on the other side. I won't be going to my sticker rants here, here and now because that is unfair on Lego and, and anyone who ever works in a warehouse will actually know exactly what I mean. Essentially it comes down to the stock take. If you have to do a stock take in a warehouse and you've got bricks with these stickers on, you've got you've got more work to do basically. So they go on there and on that side there. Try and show you that. If we get it just out light, as you can see. Now we work on the back now, and we have two white three by two right angled base plates. Two eight by two base plates, and a white four by two base plate goes on there like that. Now you've got two more white 8x2 base plates. And two white 2x1 two plates with a stud in the middle. Now we've got a load of stickers to put on here and I'll just tell you which ones I'm putting on first. So, so we start off with sticker number 15. Then we have sticker number four. I'll show you this when I've done this myself, so. So we have sticker number two, 
which has the MSC logo on it. I think this is where the staff quarters are, if memory serves me rightly. Slightly off, but. Then we have sticker number eight. And sticker number five. So we've got more guest quarters here. So that is the side of the cruise ship now. As you can see, it looks a lot more like a cruise ship. We're now over halfway, which is good news. Now we turn the ship around and we do the same again, but we do it with two slightly different sticker numbers. So we start off with sticker number 14. Sticker number five. Sticker number seven. Sticker number one, which has the MSC logo on it. Then we have sticker number three. Bear with me on this, I am just trying to get a sticker on here. Do feel free to fast forward through this bit if you feel it necessary. So there we are, I've done that as best I can. I do find stickers to be quite fiddly and if you watch my videos regularly, you know stickers aren't my favorite things, but I do kind of see why this set needs it. So next we make what looks like the pool deck. So we have two white two by two right angled base plates, which go on the back. A a desert yellow four two by two plate. Then four white four by one purple plates. And a three by two pl uh, pl plate, um, base plate goes on next. Goes on there like that, and that's going to be the pool deck. I think. I oh, know it could be wrong. I think it's just a. I would say it's the pool deck, but it's not. So it's just that's just the them trying to make the ship look look the right colours. So. Next we have 
a purple 4x2 base plate, two purple 4x1 base plates. The bricks are now going down, which is good news. And two desert yellow 2x2 two two plates with a with a stud in the middle and a yellow 2x2 two two base plate goes on top like so. Next we have two purple I know we have I know we have three purple two by two by one plates. So you've got a purple three by one plate and a purple two by one plate goes across the front like that. So you've got that bit that stands out on the edge of the ship like that. Then you have a white four by two plate goes on top like so. That's the ship so far. Next we have a white four by a white two no a white two by two by two plate. Not, I think I'm getting a little bit excited there. Sorry, I do apologise. Then you have a white two by one plate with a um, groove, a male groove in it. And then you have a clear, clear blue two by one plate, which goes on the back here like so. Next you have a white two by two brick and a purple two by one brick, which goes on the top there like so. You have four white six by one plates. They go on there like so. Then you have a desert yellow or, or cream two two by two plate. That goes on there, on the top there, like so. Not the best light to see anything, really, unfortunately. Now you have a black double cheese piece. A green two by one base plate. A clear, clear blue yeah. That's like a clear piece, I can't really tell. Now have a quick look at the picture, see if it helps me any. Helps me any. Not especially, so I'm going to go with the... Yeah, I'm going, yeah a clear, a clear two by one plate goes in the middle there.
Then we have a red two by two brick goes on the top there like so. Now we have another black double cheese piece. And two uh, cream or desert yellow two by two by one uh, plates with a stud in the middle. We have two three by one right angled bricks, which are these ones here. They have a white four by four by one angled brick. goes on there like so. We are getting nearly there because I'm getting fewer and fewer bricks. Now we have a white four by one base plate and a white three by one plate and a white two by one plate which go on these front on the front bit here. The front bit that sticks out where it's reinforced there next we have a white four by two curved roofing piece and then we have sticker number 13 that goes on there That goes on there like so. Now you have another one of these white four by two curved roofing pieces. And you have ticket number 23, which says MSC Cruises. That goes on there like, like that. Does look really good. That goes on the back there, like so. Then you have two white double cheese pieces which go on top. Looks like there's some cabins on the back as well. Two by white two by two base plate, two purple two by one base plates, they go on the top there, like so, and you've got that shape, got the shape of the ship there, does look quite good. Be careful, I say that. We've got a desert yellow two by two by one plate with a stud in the middle. A clear blue two by one plate goes on next. A white three by two base plate. A blue two by one base plate. And a blue two by one plate with a stud in the middle. goes on there like so and we flip the boat over like so and we have seven of these um, of these two by two upside down clear 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 curved studs so these go on the bottom here just to give it the impression of its float that it's floating. So these go on the 
connection points. We are nearly there, thank you for bearing with me on this video. So they go on the bottom there, like, try and shoot if I can show you those. You can see them like that now, can't you? There you go. You can see it looks like it's floating a bit more now. Now we flip this over and we have a purple two two by two and two by two roofing piece. I have stickers 19 and 20 go on here, which has the MSC logo on it. I do think it's quite nice to get these corporate sets sometimes because they are. These aren't the sort of things you are. You, um, you, um, these aren't the sort of things you you like to run into unless you go to toy fairs or anything like that. And you probably get people charging you extra, loads of extra money for them as, as well. So, or paying for their cruises with them as well, which you could do. And next, we have a purple two by two by one base plate. Goes on there. A white cheese piece goes on the top here, and a white round stud goes on there, like so. And two of these shiny metallic round studs which go on top here. And a purple two by one base plate goes on there like so. Got two of these two by one curved roofing pieces. Two white studs and a white two by one base plate or white two by watch white two by one plate with a stud in the middle that goes on the top there. If I'm just trying to find a way to show you that, it'd be quite nice, but you can see the light does not want to help. Does not want to help here, so. I will be doing a review video of this anyway, I might try and adjust the lighting for that. Now we've got some stickers to put on here. We have stickers number 21 and 22, which are win windows. Stickers number 16 and 17 go on next. There you go, on like that, so you've got some wi more windows there. And they got, got, I think is the um, part, part of the end, I think that's, this could be, that could be the bridge we're putting on here. So that's a cheese piece and a white square stud. Goes on top there like that. 
as we have stickers 9 and 10. Try and get these on the right way around. So 10 goes on first, 10 goes on near the top. Nine, sticker number nine goes on underneath that. And there we have our cruise ship. It, as you can just about see, it doesn't look too bad. There'll be some pictures going on. Uh, for, uh, some pictures going on social media anyway so as you can see it if you hold it at the right angle you can you can see where it, you can see the design of it it is quite quite nice it's a good solid build for what it is as as, as most lego doesn't float and you can, they put the lifeboats on the side which are these orange orange bits here these are the lifeboats there there are some there are some bits where the doors would be as well um, as you can see, it's probably not quite exactly to it's probably not quite exactly to um, scale, but it is but it is pretty close to be honest with you. I think it's probably could do being a slightly bigger uh, if you compare it to the real ship, but um, but this could be compared to a real ship, but it probably wasn't the ship I was on. So, but it does look quite nice. It's a really nice, good, solid build. You can, it, there's not there's not a lot wrong with it really. So well done, Lego, on this one and well done for MSC for making this the best price thing you can get on the boat really in 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 my in my opinion uh but but again again that again that is my again that is my personal opinion this is this, this is brought me lots of happiness building this it does look good and i do quite like it it's a really nice little build i will be doing a review on this video well done lego and well done msc for actually selling this at a, re at a reasonable price hope you enjoyed this video if you did do please do feel free to like share and subscribe i'm on youtube instagram and threads and post on some facebook groups as well so if you'd like to um if you look if you'd like to support me any of them um do feel free any support for the channel is always appreciated Stay safe, keep building, and if you're watching this on an MSC boat, um, hope you have a safe sail. Hope to see you in an upcoming video. Thank you for watching.